Did Steph ever save the U.S. from disaster in Paris? 17 points in the first quarter, a game high 36 points and nine threes. Hey, hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. Rebound box. Back out to Allen. History point of ah! Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good. Kyrie Irving from downtown. Trying to disrupt Rondo. He puts it in. Here's Davis, 4 3 in the win. Oh, it's good. Oh, Curry for the lead. Oh, boom. You owe me one. You all owe me one. When discussing Steph Curry's legacy, what do you automatically think of? The Golden State Warriors dynasty, which he helped start and maintain, his all time great shooting ability, being the best shooter of all time, and of course, being electric in box office, one of the best players to ever lace them up. And for a guy who's won numerous championships, numerous MVPs, the one accolade won award that's kind of eluded him is a gold medal. That's something I don't have and I really want it, so let's go. It's only a matter of time. So with Steph being 36 years old, the Olympics being every four years, there's a lot of pressure on this team to win gold and not fail in these games. And Steph versus Serbia had one of the best games of all time. International, Olympics, NBA, doesn't matter. One of the greatest games of all time in a do or die scenario. And Steph's play leading up to this game, I mean, it's been pretty poor for his standards. And he hasn't had his defining moment at the Olympics. As in the four games prior to this game, he's basically been Kyle Korver 2.0, who can't hit a single shot. As in those four games, has a total of 29 points, 9 boards, 10 made field goals, and 5 made threes. To keep it simple, Steph wasn't playing great. Now, in this one game versus Serbia in a do or die game, his overall stats and numbers almost exceeded his totals from the four previous games, having 36 points, 8 boards, 12 made shots on 19 attempts and nine made threes on 14 attempts. And Steph in this game on the court was an absurd plus 20, the highest in the game. I mean, is this guy something or is he something? If any player in America deserved this type of game, it was Steph Curry. As the past couple years in Golden State, he's had incompetent coaching, insane teammates, erratic role players, young guys who don't show up, and just everything's been off for the Warriors except for Steph. If one player deserved this game, it's Steph. And finally surrounded by competent players, what does he do? Puts up an all-time virtuoso. As looking at Team USA's basketball records, this game, Steph, the second most total points ever, only behind Melo in 2012. Made three-pointers, had nine, one short of Melo's record, also in 2012. Now, in terms of tournament play Steph in this game, the most points ever in a do-or-die match. And those nine threes, Again, the most ever in tournament play. And look, no shade to Melo, but that Nigerian team he was playing, let's be honest, USA beat them by 70, they were no threat, and really top to bottom had no players equivalent to Jokic, Micic, or Bogdanovic. And looking past the overall stats of the actual game, when Steph came up big, it was in the first quarter from the jump. As in the first 3 minutes and 30 seconds, this guy had 14 points. At this point, Serbia they weren't missing. Steph at the end of the first quarter total had 20 of his team's 23 points and the rest of the squad was shooting one of eight from the field. If Steph isn't blazing hot in that first quarter USA, they're down by 20, 25 points easily. So Steph from the jump, keeping the team in the game. And just how he started strong, he finished even stronger. As in the fourth quarter, who had the go ahead shot to give USA their first lead of the game? Stephen World of Curry. And looking at the last two and a half minutes, Steph, a game high, seven points, two of two shooting, one of them from deep, with one steal. And it wasn't just the big go ahead shot, but also the free throw line, the game icing free throws, to push it from a two point lead to a four point lead and steal the deal, one of the greatest games in USA basketball history. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. And look, in terms of player comparisons, career comparisons, this right here for Steph was his Kobe moment. As Steph, much like Kobe in 08, had never played with Team USA at the Olympics. And when he finally did, he wasn't the sore first option, the number one option, taking the most shots on the team. Was he a vital offensive piece? Undoubtedly. But why Steph, why Kobe were on those teams was the big time crucial moments to answer the call and come through. And Steph, just like Kobe in 08, hit the biggest shot for USA when they needed him most. 
And think for a second, if Steph misses that shot, Team USA loses the game. What happens in the aftermath of this game? The backlash, the ridicule, the clowning for Team USA. They joined the 72 team, the 88 team, and the infamous 04 team as the only USA basketball teams to never win gold. And two of those teams, they have a minor excuse of being amateurs. And the 04 team, yes, they won bronze, but USA wasn't sending their best. This 24 team, we sent our best, our big dogs, and the guys who would leave no doubt were winning gold at these Olympics. If this team lost versus Serbia, it would be the biggest failure and disgrace in USA basketball history, not even close. And in terms of an NBA legacy, Olympic legacy, I like to separate those two things the majority of times. But one thing I can't ignore is Steve Kerr being a god-awful coach and a menace to society. I hate you! And look, when it comes to Kerr pre-Olympics, I've been kind of neutral, don't really care about him. You know, just he's a, he's a coach, he does his thing, he's had a few championships. Not a major fan or critic either way. But watching this guy coach or attempt to coach, it's downright painful. When Serbia went big in the post, what did this guy do? He'd run three guard lineups with Derek White, Drew Holiday, Devin Booker. When Serbia went small, what would he do? He'd run big lineups with him knocking down threes routinely. Oh yeah, and on top of that, he had Katie Anthony Davis sitting at crucial points in this game. And it wasn't until the fourth quarter Steve Kerr had an epiphany. You know, Kevin Durant is a pretty good scorer and player. You know, toss him in the game, see what he can do. Steph Curry in this game, he saved numerous people. Not just Steve Kerr, also Grant Hill, as well as LeBron James. Because quote-unquote Captain America in the big-time crucial moments, who did he defer to? Stephen Worldell Curry. That right there is a summary of LeBron's career. He'll put up big stats, gaudy numbers, points, rebounds, assists. He'll get triple doubles. When the big time nut crunch moments, who's taking making the big shots? Kyrie Irving, Dwayne Wade, Anthony Davis, and now Steph and KD. And look, as great as LeBron James is, when it comes to the big time clutch shots, yes, he has some game winners. But the biggest stage, all the chips down, who's taking those shots for Team USA? Back in 08, it was Kobe. 2012, it was KD. And now in 2024, it is Steph Curry. Again, not a big knock on LeBron James, but if you're the quote-unquote GOAT the guy, you gotta take those shots, make those shots at the end of the games. And one last thing I do wanna highlight, when it comes to commentators Noah Eagle, Dwayne Wade, yes, they gave Steph Curry some props. But at the end of the game, they said verbatim, Captain LaMerica, Harry Team USA and put them on his back. This is what I mean when I say to the media, they run the entire sports universe. If you watch this game start to finish, LeBron James, he played well, had a very, very impressive game. Did he carry Team USA? Not even close. If anyone carried them, it was Steph Curry. Because once again, the first quarter hit all the big time shots to keep them in the game. And the fourth quarter closed it out and sealed the W. In 25 years' time, you look back on this game, it'll be known as the Steph Curry game. Not the LeBron game, the KD game, the Steph game. And guys like Noah Eagle, Dwayne Wade in the moment, trying to hijack that moment, Steph's moment, it's downright disgraceful. You're as disgraced in this sport. For a lot of the American pundits, American critics of Steph Curry, who say he's not clutch, can't hit big shots, this game right here, I mean, that kills that narrative till the end of time. And Steph, prior to this shot, I mean, he's been a clutch time player since 2015, big time fourth quarters dire shots in numerous finals. But this shot for USA had so much weight, so much behind it, it, I mean, if he misses those shots, falls in that moment, we're having a very different conversation today about USA basketball going forward. So that right there is the end of the video. And once again for Steph, a defining moment, a critical moment, and a big time performance when his country did him most. Steph Curry, you save the country, save LeBron, Steve Kerr, and especially Grant Hill. As always, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.